So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the property on the things that I see that need to be done. Here is our front yard landscaping. I would like to have better curb appeal. So we've got a very sporadic, um, some healthy parts, not so healthy parts of this tree. So Southwest Landscaping is going to give us a bid to cut back to make sure that's going to be healthy, cut back anything else that's not. And then once he, they clean up the, the leaves, we're going to need to add some rock to this front yard. So then that way we can actually have some good curb appeal and not hit people's heads when they're walking into the front door. So we'll get, it'll, it'll look like we're really cutting it all back, but it'll be better healthy and then it'll grow back in a nice healthy manner. This will all just get nicely cropped. Because we have such a long sidewalk to the front door, I want all of this just to be nicely cropped on top. And then, uh, you know, they'll, this has not been blown back, so all this will get cleaned up <coughs> from Southwest Landscaping. Since we're here dealing with landscaping, let's just go in the backyard real quick, and we'll talk a little bit about this. So this backyard is pretty much perfect for a rental. There's nothing you really need to do other than just enjoy it. We will have the one-time cleanup so that all of the pine needles can get up off of the rock. But, and uh, these types of things were... Yeah, they'll be buried. And then, like, this is definitely dead, so this is going to be removed. We're not going to worry too much about the trees that didn't make it over there. But at this point, we've just got some greenery. We've got some rocks. We'll just get rid of the, the pine needles and make it look a little bit better. What do we need to do with Much of anything? Not really. I like... This is me personally in Vegas. Having any kind of shade or foliage is great. I would only cut those back if they are intruding upon a neighbor and the neighbor says they need to be, or if they are coming over the top of our roof line. But it looks like those are nice and great. Nobody seems to be complaining at this point, so we'll leave them full. They will drop those nasty needles, so that'll just be something that every time a tenant vacates, we'll have to come in and do a one-time cleanup. Okay. But other than that, this backyard is great. One of the other things I'm going to note Oof. show you. Don't, okay. don't okay. fall down. Ice skating move up there. Okay, well, <laughs> well executed, I guess. Three points, or is it ten? Whatever. It's, it's supposed to be ten. Ten, excuse me. This right here is actually kind of a perfect setup for anybody that's got a little doggy that would be coming into the backyard. Um, remember, in the world of rentals, 70% of your renters have some kind of a pet. So we don't like to necessarily say no to pets initially. We like to say we'll consider and then we evaluate when a pet comes in. If they do come in with a, a little small dog, this is actually really nice to have. I like this better over like a chicken wire or something else. So I've actually requested that this not be removed. Okay, this is our front door. Love the screen door. <coughs> um, that is a nice security feature. Do we need to repaint? I think it just needs washing. Yeah, and you know what? Nobody really even sees this because once you close that screen door, this becomes absolutely non-visible. Uh, so I would not even worry about that. There was something to do with locks that need to be taken care of, so we'll That's, make sure that that works yeah. well. So, uh, this is John with uh, Cell Ready Pro. So this area right here, I would like to try and get to where it feels more open. So the previous seller has laid down this ceramic tile, which is a great thing to lay down when you are having a rental. I would have actually preferred that they took it all the way through. However, they didn't, and we don't have any way of matching this. So what we would like to do is remove this carpet here, replace it with like a shaggy carpet. You want to show kind of? Yes, we'll show. Do we still have that carpet sample there, John? Yes. Somewhere in here? Okay. It's going to be a shaggy look to it, like this one right here. And the reason why is we're trying to make it look like an area rug. So then that way it gives you the whole feeling that this is one big room, but this is just the area rug that is in that section. And the way we're going to accomplish that is we're going to get rid of this right here. So this is going to go away. Where well, this is going to go away. The fireplace stays. She's talking about this yeah, around the side. talking about this down here. Okay. This is going to be carpet all the way up to the base of this. And then this is going to become cobblestone rock. And what this cobblestone will do is it will bring those colors into play. And then that way, this whole area becomes one. Now, we're going to use something similar to a house called five, on 500 Fleece Cantado. I'll send you a picture so you can see what she's talking about. Yeah, and it, it turned out great. 
This green is not going to work for us. So anywhere you see green, that is going to get painted a very light beige. Um, that way we can bring those colors all back in. So this is going to have an accent wall that will be beige. That green up there will become beige. And we'll just touch up the... Yeah, the rest of these walls are actually in really good shape. So other than the accent walls, we'll leave the what you see white, white. All of the bedrooms will become beige. So as we walk the bedrooms, we'll talk about that. But all bedrooms and laundry rooms will become this light beige. We are going to update this kitchen a little bit. We're going to do it the most economical way we can. So the, the thing right now is your cabinets are going to be okay. They're whitewashed. They are a little dated. However, we can make it work. So we're going to leave the cabinets as they are. We're going to get a granite countertop that, again, is what I like to call woodsy. It's got a little bit of tan in it. It's speckled with a little darker colors. It'll bring all of this together quite nicely. We will extend out the breakfast bar just by a little bit more. Like the back here. Exactly. That way if somebody just wants to use this as the breakfast top, they can use that more as a great room. This is the breakfast top and not the <clears throat> table. Okay. If they do want to bring in a table, we're not making it so long that uh, we're eliminating that option. So they could do either or. I don't like the fact we have a black dishwasher amongst everything that is white. So we would like to get a white dishwasher there to match this kitchen. We would go with a stainless steel sink with a new stainless steel or chrome faucet, I guess is what it is. We'll take out the reverse osmosis system. So these tanks under here, this tank stuff will go. Yes. And while we're thinking of things that are going, so will these items. So those will be gone too. So that should make our kitchen have a little bit more of a pop factor because bear in mind when you walk through that front door, what's the first thing you see? This kitchen. So we want this kitchen to have a little bit of update and I do like that light fixture that's in there so that's going to help us as well. We're leaving that, we're leaving the ceiling fan so all that's going to work well. So as we go into here, this is going to be our den office. We're really not doing much of in here other than getting rid of any boxes for alarms, any of these wires, we're cutting all that off, we're getting rid of any of the shelving stuff, and we're painting this room that beige color. The door frames and the ceiling and the baseboard stay white. The walls go beige. Okay? And then we're going to get new carpet in here. This will be our standard uh, carpet we've used yes. for some time. Yes. It's a brownish color. So all bedrooms will have that same carpet. <clears throat> the only difference will be is the shaggy carpet will be in that uh, great room. We are going to want to paint these walls. So these walls are going to go beige as well. And then we'll have our new carpet in here. This master bathroom, I want to leave the wall color. It's a good paint. It's done well. Uh, it matches the slate flooring in here. So I don't think we need to touch any of this. However, these two sinks do need to get replaced. Okay. So two sinks replaced, we'll put the towel bar back up, it actually fell off right here. Uh, we'll get some drain stoppers that are in there, but for the most part we can leave cosmetically, this bathroom can stay the same, as well as leaving the closet with that wall color. Okay. The hallway again will just be touched up, we're going to leave everything the same. Love these heavy duty mirrors how they're edged, how they're heavy. I think that looks really nice. So I'm, I'm, that's a nice upgrade. We're gonna fix this AC filter cage. Put some, the clips are missing, so they have substitute tape. Right, so we're gonna get that to where you <clears throat> can change out those AC filters very easily. In here, we are going to paint these walls the beige color, so it'll make just kind of uniformity throughout. This washer dryer, it might make a liar out of me and it'll last forever. However, I'm thinking they are quite warm, and so there may be in the next couple of years a budget that we may need to do a washer dryer. But for right now, we can move that. Here in this bathroom, I like it. I know they're a little different colors, but it works with the cabinet, it works with everything, so we're just gonna leave this the way it is, install the shower rod, put in the drain stop. Even though this is red, or burgundy, or whatever. It's plum. Excuse me. Plum. But I actually think this plum accent wall works with this color, okay. but then works with this. Okay. So I, I, I find that it's a guest bathroom, it shouldn't be a big issue. No, okay. Again, love these doors. Coming into this room, we are going to make this beige. So everything in here will just be beige. 
We are going to need to change out this ceiling fan. I don't think there's a way we can just do blades, but they painted the blades the same color as our green wall. So my suggestion probably is just going to be easier to do a new ceiling fan. It is. And then we'll put a new ceiling fan in here. It won't be so flowery. It'll be more universal, and it'll look really nice in here. It does need to be white because it does need to match the trim of that closet door. Again, new carpet in here. And then we aren't allowed to go completely into the garage, but really from what I can see, we just need to let her get her stuff out and then we can leave everything. I think there's a water softener system that does need to be removed. I'll be brave and go out here. Uh, was it not on here? I, I think it was on the other house. Okay, so we really don't need to do anything in here than just get her stuff out. If she leaves this for us, I'm perfectly okay with that. John? Yes, sir. In the other um, house we were at, this loop needs to get replaced. It's pinched. The uh, overflow. Okay. Oh, and here is the soft water system. I thought there was one. Okay. Yeah, that so this soft water system is gonna go. should be removed and just capped off. So removed and capped off. But the built-in shelves, love them. If they want to leave these cabinets, love it. Don't need to paint in here. It can look rough when they when they leave. That's perfectly okay. <clears throat> so we'll just take whatever's in here and, and make good with it. Okay. And Thank you, John. other than that, I really like this house. I think it's good. It'll look really good when it's all said and done. Okay. Oh, let me make one more note. Did you stop it? No. The window blinds. They are very functional right now. However, they are the most inexpensive window blinds you can possibly buy. They are not going to last very long. So maybe one set of tenant, if we're lucky, two sets of tenants. And then what I would like to do is go through and completely redo all window blinds to the faux wood um, the, horizontal. The vinyl. Yeah. The vinyl, yeah, faux wood. Yeah. That way you're going to modernize these windows a little bit. But for right now, we can live with it uh, on this go-around. See, these are the uh, they're very cheap aluminum. And they don't have any staying power. None whatsoever. And they get dirty, and they just, I mean, you can even hear them. They're just not the best for the windows. But um, what we've done in the past on this is like, this. let's just say this one breaks. We'll do all the ones in here. Maybe not all the bedrooms, but we'll just do room by room as we have to. Right, but you want to do it to where anything that your eye looks at when you walk in that room is all the same. Absolutely. So that's why at this point we put <clears throat> a window blind over there you can see that I have a couple bent um, blinds. I'm just going to play with those, massage those, make those look pretty good. But in, in reality, if that ever gets worse, we would then need to replace all of these because that's where my eye is going to go. They're about, for the vinyl, they're about, uh, they have a one inch and a two inch vinyl and they're about 65 bucks a piece okay. installed. And that's it. Love this house. I think it's going to be great when it's all done.